Good afternoon and welcome to your Sunday NFL Halftime CBS 13 News Update. A local police department taking a page from MMA fighting. They're turning to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu to keep both cops and aggressors safe. CBS 13's Adrian Moore with the new training tool. The moves look sophisticated. But the strategy behind them is simple. In Jiu Jitsu, if there's distance, strikes can hurt you. The closer you are, the strikes don't hurt as much. They don't have as much force. Nearly all officers in the Manteca Police Department are trained in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, a common technique used in mixed martial arts or MMA fighting. Most people, when they hear, hey, Manteca PD is going to be taking a page, a cue from MMA fighting, implementing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu into their training, people immediately will equate that with violence. What are your officers learning here? Well, the, the natural presumption is that it's going to be a, a violent encounter if our officers are trained in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Uh, however, that's uh, the, the least thing that would happen with it. Get your hands up, bro. In an age of viral police videos, transparency and accountability have never been more important. Manteca police see about six to seven use of force complaints a quarter. But the chief says those numbers are on a downward trend, due in large part to jujitsu training. Now, the only program certified by the Police Training Commission is Gracie Survival Tactics. Their jujitsu techniques have been adapted for police work, taking weapons, handcuffing, and multiple attackers into consideration.